Welcome to Kids Do Positive Things. Welcome to the Kids Do Positive Things Show. We have a great show lined up for you today. We are featuring an incredible kid on our show today. First, I have a question. How many kids out there love to cook and loves good food? Are you interested in pursuing a career in cooking or being a chef? Well, you need to stick around because we have on the set today the Master Chef Junior himself, Logan Gulliff, winner of Master Chef Junior Season 2. Logan Gulliff is 12 years old and lives in Memphis, Tennessee. Logan was the winner of Fox's TV reality show, Master Chef Junior Season 2. The show featured Master Chef and Judge Gordon Ramsay. Logan competed against 16 other contestants and walked away with the $100,000 grand prize. Logan started cooking at the age of two, and since that time, he has become nationally known all over the world for his talent of cooking. Much of Logan's success has come from experimenting in the kitchen. He learned how to cook eggs and beef wellington from watching YouTube videos. At age 10, Logan created a sandwich called Tuna Schooners, an Asian-inspired turkey burger that incorporates all four food groups. This recipe won him a trip to the White House through Michelle Obama's Healthy Lunchtime Challenge. As a Tennessee delegate, Logan and 50 other students dined at the White House and met the President and First Lady. In 2013, Logan became the first and only kid judge to complete the training course given by the Memphis World Championship Barbecue Committee as a certified judge. He was featured in Future Chef's Cookbook released in the fall of 2014. Logan was also recently featured in the January 2015 issue of the Memphis Parent Magazine. He lives in Midtown area of Memphis and he is homeschooled by his mother Kim. The Kids Do Positive Things organization and the Memphis community wants to congratulate 12 year old chef Logan for winning Master Chef Junior Season 2 reality show contest. Logan, welcome to the Kids Do Positive Things show. It's so great to have you on the set today. Can you tell the kids how old you are and what age you started cooking? Well, I'm 12, and I started cooking when I was 2, and it was all started with morning coffee for my mom. You started cooking when you were 2? That's yes. That's cool. I started drumming when I was 2, so that's cool. I understand that you were homeschooled? Yes. The, the cool thing about being homeschooled is you get to wake up late, eat, and you get to do a bunch of really fun stuff, like, a, like all the cool cooking stuff that I've done. It's really made possible because I'm homeschooled. Well, do you like sports, or what's your favorite subject in uh, school? I, I'm, I like rock climbing and uh, soccer. Those are also pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I, my favorite subject is really math. I love math also. <laughs> Tell us some of the other things you like to do for fun. Well, I really like laser tech. I'm really good at it. I beat my dad the last 50 times <laughs> and uh, play video games. Well, you are having quite an adventure with your cooking career. Could you tell us about you going to the White House and meeting the president? Well, yeah, I did do that. I got to participate in the first ever kids' state dinner, and that was really fun. And I just won a Master Chef Junior, and that was really fun. And uh, a lot of other cool things. Cool. What is your favorite dish to fix? Probably like a steak, because Dad will eat the steak. Dad <laughs> won't eat much of my, my stuff. Do you fix like hamburgers and pizza? Uh, <laughs> sometimes, not sometimes. very often. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is that your favorite food, steak? Is that your Ste favorite food? Steak's pretty fun. Uh, I like fish. I like fish a lot. Or ramen. Ramen. <laughs> yeah, I'm really big into the ramen. Do you use recipes or do you usually memorize your dishes? Well, well I don't really use re recipes because when I do my creative process, I usually know my dish by heart. 
Hmm. Tell us about that creative process. That well, you... uh, I kind of take it and I have a ton of bowls and then I mix everything together and then I like put it on stuff and I try it. And sometimes it comes out really good and sometimes it comes out really, really, really bad. <laughs> so you just experiment most yeah, of the time? Yeah, ki kind of. But I make sure to write everything down. Hmm. So what kind of dishes would you recommend for the kids out there? Well, gr grilled cheese is always a good way to start. There's yeah. always fish and steak. I really like those. Uh, I'm not big into the starches. Mm, I love grilled cheese. <laughs> kids, as you can see, we are having a great time on the set. Thank you for joining us, and we will be right back. The Kids Do Positive Things organization has created an exciting and innovative new way to reach out to the kids in our communities. The KDPT show is designed to highlight kids in a positive way. The show focuses on education, arts, academics, sports, and music. We want to strengthen our city and communities with positive energy from our youth. Through the Kids Do Positive Things TV show, we can encourage thousands of kids to set goals, pursue their dreams, and be the best they can be. The Kids Do Positive Things organization is a local 501c3 nonprofit organization benefiting kids ages 5 to 17. We are asking business leaders, school officials, youth organizations, parents, and most of all, kids to get involved and partner with the Kids Do Positive Things organization. Your sponsorship and donations are welcome to benefit the ongoing efforts of this program. For more information on sponsorship and or donations, please go to our website at kdptshow.com. Thank you. Eleven-year-old sixth grader from Memphis, Tennessee, Logan. This is like the greatest place in the food world to be. Logan always dresses for success. Ah, oh, beautiful. In his signature bow tie. I love that we look like versions of the same person. <laughs> yeah. But his fellow home cooks soon learn that beneath his mild manner exterior, would you like some more tea? Beats the heart of a fierce competitor. Let's go. Yes, chef. Somebody's going home tonight, and it ain't gonna be me. His stylish food and striking plating speaks for itself. Wow, that is amazing looking. The flavor, that flat iron steak, is mind blowing. Cooking your salmon in olive oil was kind of a stroke of genius. <laughs> this might be the most important day of my childhood. Can't leave anything up to fate. I'm this close from winning it all. Tonight, can Logan's passion, competitive spirit, and unbridled imagination take home the title of MasterChef Junior? Hi kids, we are back on the set with Chef Logan, winner of MasterChef Junior Season 2. Okay, Logan, this is so exciting. Tell us about your experience with being in Los Angeles, California. Well, the, the first thing that you need to know about LA is that uh, the traffic's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> you, you can't get anywhere, but going two miles is one hour. Wow. It, it's crazy. And uh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> So what was it like meeting Chef Gordon Ramsay? Well, it, it was really cool to see his uh, his softer side and then to, to really go through the uh, pop-up restaurant where it was really honest. Mm -hmm. And that was really great. So you said softer side, so he's not yeah. really mean. He's not no, well, in person. Oh, only sometimes. Just sometimes? <laughs> yeah. So how did you enter the contest? Well, the, the entire auditioning process is very secretive, so I can't tell you anything about that. Oh, okay. But it was a great time in it's Dallas. Secret. <laughs> yeah. Were you scared or nervous at all? No, not really, because you're you're just going to, to an audition, and it's really, really easy if you've, like, auditioned for, like, a play or stuff like um, that. It's just really not, easy. You weren't no. nervous at all. That's no. cool. Tell us about some of the other kids you met and where they were from. Oh, uh, well, there, there, were, there were originally uh, 15 other kids, mm -hmm. and uh, we all keep in touch through the, through the social media, and they're pretty much from everywhere. Cool. It, are there any from out of the country out of the United States? Uh, no, they don't, they kind of take you if you're in the yeah, US. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nobody like flew in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the end of the contest on MasterChef Junior, you were given 90 minutes. Did you ever worry about finishing the dish? Um, well, you, you kind of have to know that you've got to keep the dish going. Mm -hmm. That you, you have to, to keep cooking. So what was the winning dish? 
uh, a salt crusted branzino. Could you explain about that? Like, uh, well, well, uh, the salt crusted branzino is where you take a bunch of salt underneath something, and then you put like the fish in, mm -hmm. and you put the rest of the salt, and it works like a can tandoori oven. That and so good. that that really works pretty cool. That sounds really good. <laughs> How has your life changed, and what new projects do you have coming up? Well, I've got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to uh, New Jersey for a food and wine show. Mm. And uh, let's see, what else do I have? Well, I'll, I have a lot of stuff on the calendar. Mama really keeps track of all that for <laughs> me. How can the kids follow you? Well, they, they can follow me on uh, Order Up with Logan, that's my blog. And then all of my social media is Logan Jr. Chef. Now, somehow, I don't know how I got them all to be the same, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> Kids, Logan has a special surprise. He is going to cook something for us today. Congratulations. Logan! It feels super surreal to have won MasterChef Junior. Congratulations. Good job, dude. Favorite moment of the show was, of course, winning it all, but uh, other than that, it was the Malibu pop-up restaurant. That was amazing. I mean, Gordon yells at you. Like always. Malibu to Logan, yes! And it's really cool, you cook your fish, people are there, Joe's there, everybody's there. It's just a really good learning experience and being mentored by the three judges and the three biggest giants in the culinary world was just phenomenal. With the $100,000, I haven't even thought about what to do with it. I mean, I just took it one step at a time and that's one of the things that you really need to do to win. I'm probably gonna put this uh, trophy in my room on a pedestal with a little cute plexiglass case around it that my dad probably can make. From here, I'm just gonna relax, take it one step at a time. I'm just gonna uh, keep cooking, keep cooking my heart out. When I'm old enough to do Master Chef, I'm gonna become the next Master Chef. This is definitely a dream. Welcome back, kids. We are on set with Master Chef Logan. And I'll be cooking for us today some steak and potatoes and mushrooms and compound butter. Cool. So first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna take we're gonna take some of this butter out and we're just gonna put it in our pan. So now we've got that going. And so we can take some more butter. As you can tell I really like butter. <laughs> and we can just put it into our little food processor here. And then we just kind of get it in there. And then we can take some herbs right here that we have. And I have some, uh, just some rosemary. And so then you can just take some of this rosemary, take some more rosemary in there. More rosemary. More rosemary. <laughs> and like uh, a leaf of sage. And yeah, pretty much. And then you just want to try and get it in there and just put the uh, lid on. And you just kind of want to blend it together. So now we can season our steak because our butter's browning a bit. So let's get some more salt in there. Mm -hmm. And it's key to season high because it drops it more evenly on your meat and it also kind of makes a bigger mess. There we go. Now it's time to get these steaks in there. There's one steak. Now we can put our other steak in here. There we go. Now we can just get those uh, steaks going. And over here we have some potatoes that I just baked. And so we're just going to cut little slit in them. 
and um, so much. And then we can just take some sour cream here, get it all on there. And then we can get some more sour cream for this one. And then you want to sprinkle some cheese on there? Good. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Steaks smell really good, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to take a few minutes to cook this steak down. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of wait, wait a while and kind of cook the steak use another minute or two. Pretty much what we're doing here, we can throw some uh, mushrooms in there. So you want me to go into it? All right, cool. Just a little bit. Just a little? Yeah, just a little. So. We just want the mushrooms to go in there to make a really nice pan sauce. And that's really what we want to do here. We can also throw some herbs in here. Herbs make everything better. <laughs> yeah. And we can just put in some, some more sage. And just our tiny bit of time. I kind of forgot most of my time today. So do you usually cook dinner at home? Uh, sometimes I cook dinner. Most of the time my mom cooks dinner. Oh, okay. I don't cook that much dinner. So is your family like, does your family have chefs in it or no. are you the only one? No, uh, no, no, no one in my family that I ever really met was a chef. Everybody was just, like my great grandma was a, was, uh, a line cook, I think, yeah. And uh, my dad's dad was a uh, Navy cook, but I never met them, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So now we can just kind of flip these steaks over. Ooh, that looks great. Yeah, you kind of messed up a lot right there. Okay, okay. Wow. And you started cooking at the age of two? Yeah, two. And it all started with morning coffee for my mom. Like, yeah. And so we have our mushrooms in here, and they're just going to make a really nice pan sauce. And we can, we can take out some of our compound butter here. See. We can just put a little dollop on there. Oh, no. And the, thing, the good thing about our compound butter is that it really gives the butter extra flavor instead of just being butter, it's herby butter. <laughs> and so that's, that's really the good thing about compound butter. And so do you yeah. remember the first meal, like full meal that you cooked? Full meal? Oh, uh, that's pretty tough. Maybe not. Uh, I mostly did a bunch of pigs in a blanket, stuff mm. like that. Not like mainly snacky food in the very beginning, and then like Totino's pizza mm -hmm. did those a lot. Uh, a lot of other just pretty basic stuff, and then I got up to this kind of stuff, and then some more stuff, and then finally to a uh, master stuff. And so, yeah, you could probably pull this, this steak almost. You, you can tell how steak's done by feeling it. Mm -hmm. And then corresponding it to your hand. So here's like rare, here's medium right around here, and there's well done. Very good. So then you can just kind of soak it. Might be medium rare, rare. So we can we'll probably pull this one. And we can just plop this one down on the down on the plate. So this one might need another minute or two. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you can see here, this looks very good. Yeah. And here we go. Here's our other steak. Making sure that we get all those nice juices. Mm -hmm. And then we can just take our um, little spatula, kind of scoop up most of these mushrooms on here. You can just top it with some mushrooms. Pretty much how you do it. Logan, this is a great dish. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me on uh, Kids Do Positive Things. I hope you come back and cook for us some more. Oh, I think I'll be back. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Logan, uh, winner of MasterChef Junior Season 2 on Fox. Uh, it's been a great time here at Kids Do Positive Things. If you want to see more of me, you can find me on all the social media. It's Logan's Junior Chef and Order Up with Logan. That's my blog uh, at blogspot.com. Uh, can't wait to enjoy more meals like this.
Bye. Hi, I'm Cleveland, host and musician for the Kids Do Positive Things Show. I am performing today at the FedEx Forum for the University of Memphis Tigers pregame activities. Kids, I'm going to keep encouraging you to set your goals, pursue your dreams, and be the best you can be. Now, let's go out and have some fun. Kids, we want to thank you for watching the show. This show was created just for you. 
to empower you, to inspire you, and to encourage you. Remember, you are an amazing kid. Just dream big. We can change the world. Just be a positive kid. Oh, and don't forget, kids do positive things. Hi, I'm Cleveland, and I'm 13 years old. I wanted to take a moment to say we have some great kids in the community. I'm going to keep telling you to be the best you can be. There are amazing opportunities out there for you to get involved with sports, workshops, church activities, and many other things to help you build your future. Figure out what you like doing and work hard at it. If you need help, email the KDPT Show at kdptshow at gmail.com. We will help you. I will help you. My goals are to keep working hard to get better at everything I do. School and academics, of course, are first. Talk to your parents and counselors. Kids, if we work together, we can do a lot of positive things in our community. If you need help, email the KDPT Show at kdptshow at gmail.com.